Gender Discrimination in I'm a Number by Daniel Keyes. Daniel Key's novel Flowers for Algernon, also known as Toy La Mo Con So in Vietnamese, is a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of the nature of intelligence and the ways in which society treats those who are perceived as different. One of the key themes of the novel is gender discrimination, and the ways in which women are treated differently from men in both personal and professional settings. In this essay, we will examine the theme of gender discrimination in Flowers for Algernon and explore the ways in which this theme is intertwined with the novel's exploration of the human condition. The novel is narrated by Charlie Gordon, a man with an intellectual disability who has chosen to participate in an experimental procedure that promises to increase his intelligence. As his intelligence increases, Charlie becomes acutely aware of the ways in which he has been treated differently from others. He begins to notice the ways in which women, in particular, are treated differently from men. Throughout the novel, Charlie confronts this discrimination head-on, and the theme of gender discrimination becomes a powerful force in the narrative. One of the key ways in which gender discrimination is explored in the novel is through the character of Alice Kinian, Charlie's teacher and later his love interest. Alice is a highly intelligent woman who has dedicated her life to teaching individuals with intellectual disabilities. Despite her intelligence and expertise, Alice is often dismissed or ignored by her male colleagues who view her as inferior due to her gender. Charlie, who has grown to love and respect Alice, is acutely aware of this discrimination, and he becomes a powerful advocate for her rights and her abilities. Another important way in which gender discrimination is explored in the novel is through the character of Faye Lilman. a woman who becomes involved with Charlie after he undergoes the experimental procedure. Faye is depicted as a sexually liberated woman who is unafraid to express her desires and her needs. However, she is also depicted as being treated poorly by men, who view her as little more than a sexual object. Through Faye's character, the novel explores the ways in which women are objectified and dehumanized by men, and the impact that this has on their lives and their sense of self-worth. The theme of gender discrimination is also closely tied to the novel's exploration of the human condition. Flowers for Algernon is a novel that is concerned with the nature of intelligence and the ways in which society treats those who are perceived as different. The characters in the novel are flawed and conflicted, and they must learn to navigate a world that is often hostile and unforgiving. Through their struggles and their experiences, they come to understand the true nature of the human heart and the complexity of human relationships. Another important aspect of gender discrimination in Flowers for Algernon is the way it affects Charlie's relationship with his mother. Charlie's mother is depicted as a woman who is trapped in a difficult and abusive marriage, and who is forced to rely on her son for emotional support and companionship. However, despite her dependence on Charlie, she is also dismissive of his intellectual disability and sees him as a burden. This attitude reflects the societal norms of the time which often viewed individuals with disabilities as inferior and unworthy of respect. Charlie's relationship with his mother highlights the ways in which gender discrimination can be internalized and perpetuated even within families. Charlie's mother, who is herself a victim of discrimination and abuse, is unable to see beyond her own limitations and prejudices. 
and she unwittingly reinforces the discriminatory attitudes that she has been subjected to throughout her life. The theme of gender discrimination in Flowers for Algernon is also closely tied to the novel's exploration of power and control. The characters in the novel are often in positions